As casualties from the COVID-19 pandemic mount, hospital resources like ventilators are in short supply. They're a life-saving part of treating severe cases. Here's what you need to know. This is a ventilator right here, and it's a machine that helps people breathe by pushing air into their lungs. Some people get uh, more moderate or severe symptoms, and they are not able to maintain that work of breathing. And so the ventilator can help people by taking over that work that's required to move air in and out of the lungs. The coronavirus that causes the illness binds to receptors on cells in a person's airway and lungs. The World Health Organization estimates 80% of people with COVID-19 get better on their own without needing to be treated in hospital. But in severe cases, it's the respiratory system that will struggle to do its job oxygenating a patient's blood, which is where the ventilator comes in. Tanks of medical air and oxygen are mixed at precise levels and pushed down a tube. It goes through a unit that warms and humidifies the air and then into the patient through the tube that's tightly sealed in their airway. The lungs naturally spring back, pushing the air out through another tube. For COVID-19 patients, filters are added to contain the virus. The computer controls the flow and detects the patient's breathing. We have people in the community that stay on ventilators for years or even decades and they usually get a tracheostomy tube, so a hole in the neck with a tube there uh, to make it more comfortable. A typical ICU stay would be about 5 to 10 days. One of the risks uh, is with the breathing tube which goes through the vocal cords and into the trachea to allow ventilation of the lungs. Uh, anything that is invasive like that can allow bacteria to get in and so people can get what's called a ventilator-associated pneumonia. So we can't ventilate with those. Thumbs down on that one. Those machines just provide one steady level of pressure. So they don't actually ventilate the lungs, they keep the upper airway open. Thumbs up on that one. It would be like comparing a sports car to your old clunky commuter car. Uh, they can for sure get the job done. Thumbs down, double thumbs down on that one. A ventilator is only set up to monitor one person. So that whole system would be seen to the ventilator as though it was one. So as long as somebody got some air, the system would work and it wouldn't know that uh, possibly multiple people were not getting any air.